The Mordovians are a Finno-Ugric people native to the Volga region of Russia, primarily in the modern-day Republic of Mordovia. They are made up of two closely related subgroups, the Urzia and the Moksha, each with their own distinct language, culture, and traditions. Like many other Volga peoples, the Mordovians were subjugated by the Mongol Empire under Batu Khan and became part of the Golden Horde. The fall of the Kazan Khanate to Ivan the Terrible marked the incorporation of Mordvin lands into the expanding Russian Tsardom. This led to Christianization campaigns and increased Russian influence. In the early modern period, Mordovians were pressured to adopt Russian language and customs, leading to significant cultural assimilation. However, local traditions and languages persisted in rural areas. Traditional Mordovian religion was pagan, with nature-based beliefs and animism. After Russian conquest, most Mordovians converted to Eastern Orthodoxy, though some elements of the old faith persisted in folklore and rural customs. Among the well-known Mordovians there is Lydia Ruslanova, a famous Soviet singer of Urzia origins, Artyom Surkov, an Urzian martial arts fighter, and Yen Topless, a Mordvin blogger. For this video, I have gathered the raw DNA of 10 Mordvins from Reichlab's AdderPlus.ho dataset. I ran them through QPDM to determine their admixture and ethnic makeup. Despite speaking a language closely related to Finnish, the genetics suggest that they are not at all similar to the Finns. In fact, they are closer to the Bulgarians and the English than they are to the Finns according to FST analysis. The population closest to them ended up Russians. Surprisingly, they were even further from the Karelians and Veps than they were from Finns. A Mesolithic Cubidium run on the Mordvins reveals that the dominant component in their ancestry is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component, at roughly 33% of their ancestry. This is a little bit lower than the contribution of ANF in Central Russians, who score 35%. This is drastically lower than the ANF contribution in Western Europeans, which is around 40%. A Bronze Age breakdown of Mordvin DNA reveals that the majority of their ancestry is of Indo-European origin. Although they have a significant portion of Baltic hunter-gatherer ancestry, at around 13%, and Proto-Uralic Siberian ancestry, at around 10%. A late Bronze Age breakdown reveals the ethnogenesis of Mordvins is quite similar to the Slavs, being a mixture of Proto-Balto-Slavic Anetis with the Baltic substrate, which is Bronze Age Lithuanians, and Balkanic substrate, which in this model is proxied by late Iron Age Bulgarians. And on top of that, there is of course the 9% Siberian ancestry, the legacy of Uralic peoples. Another cubitum run reveals that the Mordvins carry a bit under 2% Neanderthal ancestry, which is typical of Eastern Europeans. I also ran these 10 individuals through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common Y lineage among them was R1A, followed by J2B, J2A and the Uralic N1 lineages were also present. The most common predicted phenotype was Pamarid, but various Northern European phenotypes were also abundant. Most samples had light eyes, but there were three samples with relatively dark eye color. There weren't any samples with dark brown eyes. Most samples had light hair, but there were three samples with dark hair. The overwhelming majority of the samples were predicted to have wavy hair, but there was one sample with predicted straight hair texture and one sample with predicted curly hair texture. The most common predicted nose shape was snub. The Mordvins had relatively high odds of male pattern baldness. The Mordvins had average odds of allergies, high odds of autism, with some exceptions, and they were evenly split on lactase persistence. They had average levels of empathy based on OXTR genotypes, high odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, even by European standards, and average propensity to hemoglobin E disease. As a whole, they had high odds of atrial fibrillation, cardiovascular issues, and low odds of type 2 diabetes. The samples had a predisposition to lower odds of major depressive disorder, lower odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and very high predisposition to Alzheimer's, a trend we have observed with other Northern European ethnicities. 7 out of 10 samples carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JA K2 gene, and every sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in the KITLG gene, with 7 being homozygous for it and 3 being heterozygous. This is typical for Northern Europeans. 
As a whole, the Mordvins had a predisposition to lower odds of syncope. The Mordvins had low levels of vitamin D, high levels of predicted LDL cholesterol, typical of West Eurasians, and low levels of predicted HDL cholesterol, also a negative and also typical of West Eurasians. You can purchase their raw DNA in 23andMe format along with my products and services from link in the description.